Ladies and gerbils, yeah, this is nice, isn't it, eh? Don't see these too often. So uh, let's have a little listen and uh, then I shall tell you what I possibly can about it. Let's go. <laughs> Pick up time, and uh, well, there's only one, so this shouldn't take long, as somebody said to somebody else. <laughs> See if they can clean up. Starting with the uh, only one that's there. <laughs> year only you see for year only 2011 2011 12 years ago and this one has survived remarkably well uh, the nitro paint is pretty thin I've written on these and uh, the construction is well it's not exactly traditional I don't suppose um, in the regard that uh, most melody makers, the single cuts, the Les Paul, I suppose that you call it, the Les Paul style melody maker, are uh, usually there or mahogany, but this one is a maple slab, you see, a maple slab body, which is mated to a, obviously a set in mahogany neck, quarter sawn mahogany for that matter, which of course is uh, wood that is sawn perpendicular to the annular rings which creates a more robust and attractive linear grain uh, as you absolutely can't see on here because it's been painted blue 
Anyway, uh, so we do have the Gibson Deluxe Mini buttons, which I absolutely adore. Uh, you can see, you see, so the Titchy headstock, which I, again, I love, I love them. Um, this is, I, I reckon, pretty much what Orn Gibson headstocks look like before they tack the wings on the side. We've discussed this before, you know all about that. Um, so, yes, so a mahogany neck, certainly. It's a, well, they reckon that it's a chunky profile, but it really, really isn't. It's, that just feels like every other last pull I've ever played. It's a, I'd say it's just a medium C. Um, the fingerboard is not rosewood. The fingerboard is in fact torrified maple with, I think they're perloid, aren't they? You know, acrylic dot inlays. Well, there's a bit of shimmer to them though. Not sure about that. I didn't see, didn't see that in the uh, in the spec sheet. Twenty-two frets, regular Gibson scale. Now, what they used to, what they should have as standard is a four ninety-one T, and the four ninety-one T usually pops out about well, seven between seven and a half and eight on the Richter scale. But this fella, I think it's called, is it called a JS2? You guys all know, Seymour Duncan. Um, which, I, which I do, I was going to put a Gibson pickup in it, but two things prevented me from so doing. One is, on the colour, it goes with a guitar. And it looks good. And the pickup sounds, really, it sounds great. Um and also, like I say, the 491T pops out about 7.5 and, and 8, and this is popping out 15 plus. This is like a Dirty Fingers uh, strength of pickup. Anyway, uh, wrap round bridge. I did, hey, uh, please write it. You know I always answer to all the comments. Please write in and let me know. I did read a snippet in an article and I can find no other information about this apart from this one article that said um, that Seymour Duncan make Gibson pickups. Doesn't sound right to me. If uh, any of you have any information out there about that, I'd be happy to know. So, uh, yes, it's a solid maple slab um, that has been, that's had the paws, um, you know, filmed in stoppered if you like before the uh, nitro satin nitro has gone on and i can't see i can't see i can't see anywhere I can't see anywhere there's not much going on in the way of there's something there that might even clean up i don't know yeah it will do so clean isn't it that is clean so the nice uh, they are not especially heavy now that white melody maker that we did a while ago is definitely a little you know a pound Latin a few ounces anyway uh, lighter than this this is just slightly chunkier uh, but all the same, very, very nice guitar. Um, I do like the simplicity of these. Very, very liberating. There's only one thing that you have to co consider and think about, and that is what you're playing rather than mucking about with pickups. So, lovely stuff. Yes, uh, wrap around uh, bridge, I'm sure I mentioned that. And um, all in all, these, if you, can if you can find one, because these really do not crop up very often. Uh, they were about 800 quid when new in 2011. So really quite expensive for Gibson's uh, budget American guitar. Anyway, that's it from me and the little melody maker. Thank you all ever so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Adios amigos. Ta-ra.